The first lunar landing mission took flight in 1969, in the hopes of putting humans on the moon. The Saturn V rocket was launched from the Kennedy Space Center, carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin. The Apollo 11 space mission had lifted off, and it would go on to become one of the most iconic moments in history. Four days after launch on July 20th, Armstrong and Aldrin touched down on the lunar surface, with Collins remaining in the command module which orbited overhead. This mission to a new frontier was a huge success, but it seemed to have caused a wave of new UFO sightings. Could there have been otherworldly visitors curious about human space endeavours? Over the years, NASA have collected a vast number of images taken from space, and have gone on to upload them for public viewing. One of these images was found by Black Vault user, who has studied thousands of images looking for anything unusual. The image of interest was taken from Apollo 9, over the Chuska Mountains in Arizona, and this was on the 3rd of August 1969. When zoomed in, it clearly shows a triangular object travelling above our planet. It's caused many theories to be put forward, but the craft can easily be seen, and it's just one of the many UFO sightings of triangular crafts. This caused people to look deeper into this topic, and it turns out these black triangles have been witnessed for years. One of the earliest accounts was the black triangle seen during the 1561 celestial event. In UFO circles, this is one of the most baffling and intriguing cases of UFO activity ever recorded. Strange sightings in our skies have often been reported throughout history, but the celestial event that occurred in Neumannberg is by far unique. On April 14, 1561, citizens in Nuremberg in Bavaria were awoken to a strange scene that played out in the skies above them. Residents claimed they saw hundreds of small objects, similar to fireballs that were exploding in the sky, as well as crafts shaped like spheres, triangles and crosses. These crafts seemed to fly erratically, as if at battle with one another. This event lasted for over an hour, at the end of which a large triangle-shaped craft was seen to come into sight, followed by a large crash that could be heard outside the city. This celestial battle was recorded by Hans Glazer. The translation of the wood carving can be read as the following. In the morning of April 14, 1561, at daybreak between 4 and 5 a.m., a dreadful apparition occurred in the sun, and this was seen in Nuremberg in the city by many men and women. At first there appeared in the middle of the sun two blood-red semicircles, just like the moon in its last quarter, and in the sun above and below on both sides, the colour was blood. They stood around a ball of partly dull, partly black colour. In between there were visibly a few blood-red crosses, between which there were red stripes, becoming thicker to the rear, and in the front malleable like the rods of reed grass, which were intermingled. These all started to fight among themselves, so that the globes which were the first in the sun, flew out to the new ones standing on both sides. Therefore the globes standing outside the sun in the small and large rods flew into the sun. Besides, the globes flew back and forth among themselves and fought to each other for over an hour. When the conflict was in the sun's path, the sun got more intense. They became fatigued to such an extent that, as mentioned above, fell from the sun down upon the earth, as if they all burned and then just wasted away on the earth with immense smoke. After all this, there was something like a black sphere, very long and thick-sighted. The shaft pointed to the east and the point pointed west. Although we have seen shortly one after another, many kinds of signs we are still unfortunately no closer to finding out what this event was. Back in 1561, the sighting would have been looked upon with a deeply religious significance, but to modern age researchers and UFO enthusiasts, it may have been otherworldly visitors of a different kind. Though triangular UFO sightings are common, those who witness the cross often report them as having similar features. 
Triangular UFOs are often said to be completely silent, making no noise whatsoever as they hover above, leaving behind no sign of contrails. The crafts are also usually reported to be around the size of a football field, and dark in colour. UFOs are largely referred to and depicted as flying saucers, but given the wide variety of reports over the years, triangular shaped crafts seem to be one of the more common shapes that are witnessed. David Marlow, UFO researcher and author of Triangular UFOs, an estimate of the situation, claims to have researched over 17,000 UFO sightings that involve triangular shaped crafts, otherwise referred to as black triangles. While these types of UFOs are often associated with otherworldly visitors, there are some that speculate their earthly origins. Secret government projects have been going on for years, and while we don't know the extent or scale of these projects, it's entirely possible that these are human in origin, and are used as surveillance technology, or as experimental aircraft. Most of these sightings occur at night, which makes it more likely for the government to test secret projects under the cover of darkness. Chris Mellon, the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence during the Clinton and George W. Bush administrations, said the following. There have been many instances in which these vehicles have been observed, and this has been over bases operated by Strategic Air Command. End quote. Despite the many sightings that have occurred in the US, triangular shaped objects have been reported across our planet since the Cold War, and even going into the early 1950s. However, the most notable sightings were witnessed in New York's Hudson Valley around 50 miles outside of New York City, and New York's Taconic Parkway between 1983 and 1986. The strange cross were witnessed by hundreds of people as traffic on roads nearby came to a standstill, and motorists left their vehicles to get a better look at the airships. One of the witnesses, Kevin Sovilla, contacted the nearby Stewart Air Force Base to try and find out whether the craft belonged to the military because the craft was so big, Kevin thought it could only have been a C-5 transport plane, which was then the largest aircraft in the world. The Air Force Base, however, had told Kevin that none of their C-5s had been airborne that night, leaving the mystery craft open to further speculation. Two police officers went out on a late night patrol in Belgium, when they claimed to have witnessed a strange triangular shaped craft above them. More Belgian citizens also reported seeing similar crafts, which were described as a flying platform, and a triangular object with a bright red center. Two F-16 fighter jets were deployed to investigate a triangular-shaped UFO a year later in 1990, and the pilots had managed to record the craft's amazing maneuverability and acceleration, which they were unable to match. One craft which may offer an explanation for many of the sightings, is the US military's TR-3B secretive anti-gravity triangular shaped planes. They look very similar to what's been reported in some sightings previously, but officially the aircraft does not exist. This also doesn't explain the black triangles that were seen during the 1561 event. So what do you make of these interesting UFO sightings? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.